Hello and welcome to the Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel. This is Benji and today I'm joined by Mithril, who I met in the Dragon Riders Games Discord server. If you want to play tournaments, whether they are for free or for money, you can do so there. Today we're learning how to play branded tier limits. Now I'm sure your deck is a little different from everybody's. Everybody's decks are all over the place at the start of the format. Or we do a quick card by card. We'll discuss any choices you've made with your list and then we'll play a few games on YGO Pro. Mithril is going to actually tell me what to do and I'm just going to try and ask the questions that you, the audience, might have about either the decisions we're making or through the board states we're dealing with. So quick card by card, we have one ad lib, one should all beast, three uh, Skirin, three Luber, two Albaz, one Rhino Heart, which I think is interesting. We'll talk about that in a minute. Three Hoffness, three Miru, two Tragedy, one Instant Fusion, three Branded Fusion, three Dark Ruler, one Terraforming, one Called by the Grave, three Branded Opening, uh, three Super Polymerization, two Branded in Red, three copies of Primeval Planet Pellerino, and one copy of Tier Elements Metanoise. In the extra, we're on one Guardian Chimera. I'm still waiting for mine in the mail. I'm really excited for that. One Kaleido Heart, two Mirror Jade, two Protoplan Dragos Depelia, two Lubellion, two Masquerade, two Albion, one Garura, the Wings of Resonant Life. I like this card. Uh, one Kid Kalos and one Winda. In the side, we're on three uh, Sphere Mode, three Cyclone, three Droplet, uh, two Mystic Mine, three There Can Be Only One, and one Red Reboot. Uh, anything you want to mention about the deck list before we get going? Okay, yeah, so I decided to play the full Desvia package because I, I think it's really good this format. It plays better around Dar Darduer and Nibiru. And I think they were really well with the Tiraman engine. So, like you say, I'm playing in only one, one Rhino Heart because. We already have too many normal summons. We have the three field spills and the terraforming to search it. And we usually just want a normal summon all over because the branded part of the deck is usually what we want to end up, we want to prioritize first. One more time, can you repeat that? I said that the branded side of the deck is one we want to prioritize that goes through mainly. Okay, we want to prioritize that because it's not random with the mills. Yeah. You rely on RNG with, when you're using the tier elements. Okay, I figured we had pretty good access to the openings to get to the Jester, but I guess if we open Jester, we just rather normal summon it. Yeah, like I said, eh, we don't want to have too many normal summons in that book. It's going to conflict with it. Okay, my only issue or concern with this is a uh, Kaleido Heart requires the Rhino Heart, and there's always a chance it gets banished by its own effect. That's just something I've had. I because I, uh, we played once in one of the Dragon Riders tournaments, and I was playing a very weird list. And Rhino Heart was one of my three ofs, but I was I did cut at, cut down on some for certain other ones. I know other people are on like everything at three just to make sure they work. I noticed you're only on one shit all, which I kind of. All right, I think that makes sense. Anything else you think is unusual about the build that we have at the moment that might be worth talking about? Because I've seen a few builds around, and everybody's builds are all over the place, so I don't know what the standardized thing should be. Not really. Just like I said, most builds are only playing the three branded fusion with one fallen of Alvas. I think getting to that card is very important. That card gives us a lot of advantage and follow ups. Okay. Any thoughts on the other tier element trap cards? Like, I play Selic because I play Foolish Goods, but that's a weird deck in my list. I know Metanoise is like good versus Sprite, right? Yeah, that's. I only want to play one and choose Metanoise, but that's the better one because that's the one that we usually are searching. We're not searching solid. Okay. Yeah, I was never searching them. I was searching monsters, but I was playing a weird build. Anyways, we'll get into some games and we'll discuss what our choices are as we go. And then we'll come back to the deck list and we'll discuss any anything that may or may not have come up. Now, we are playing on YGL Pro. I know you're more of a RL slash dueling book player. Hopefully we won't get too much of a crazy OCG pair up, but hopefully that won't happen. There we go. That took a long time to find someone. All right, I assume we're going first. Yep. All right, cool. Just a... Uh, Ooh, this is a weird hand. Ooh. These happen sometimes. Uh, what's the plan? Okay, we're, we're going to start with opening, of course. Sending the beast. Okay, I think I misplayed already by not uh, trying to force the standby phase. Uh, so we can avoid droll. Yeah. That's my fault. Uh, special des uh, special Luber? Yeah. yeah. Uh, special we're going to we're gonna put beef as, beast as the chain lead to a Luber chain lead one. Gotcha. We want to make sure we get to Branded Fusion, I guess. Yeah. Well. That's an extra reason why I misplayed by uh, not using Branded f Opening in Main Phase. That's my, uh, in Standby, that's my fault, because uh, Valor's only in Main Phase. Alright, well. Hey, we can... I guess we can try to normal marry and try to mill, or we can just set the opening and have a and have it trigger on his turn. But I think uh, we just normal merely. 
Your choice. Um, all right. So everyone keep in mind, this is my fault that this game has gone this way so far. Uh, I screw these up every once in a while. All right. So we hit a merely and a offness. Uh, we can trigger them both. Order doesn't matter, I guess, with these. No. Yeah. So we come in. Uh... Oh. Okay. They're hitting the offness. So we're going to get one fusion for the merely. Um, what's preferable? We're gonna make the kit colors. Alrighty. So the Merly and the Merly. Gonna get fusioned. And we are gonna search the Rhinohar. Okay, because we have a normal, I guess this is a good start. Um We're gonna use the Fed so we can melt the fight cars. We're gonna special the Rhinohar. Alright. And we're gonna use Kid Colors as Chainlink too. Okay, so we wanna make sure Rhino Heart goes off. Assuming they have like Ash or something. Yeah. Uh, what, what do we, we wanna definitively foolish? We used Merly already, we just milled Skirin. So the Hoffness got like banished, uh, but it did activate this turn. So I guess it doesn't matter, so we can just send Hoffness. Just the worst one. All right. Uh, scare and defuse. And just to uh, we come check, with, uh, win. just double checking the graveyard. Um, we hit ad lib and uh, we also have a, a luber in there. All right. Yeah, so we can just make a window. All righty. Window with beast and scaring. Attack position, I guess. Yeah. Okay, because we also had like some, I think we had some options for like uh, Lubellian. I don't know if it made sense though. All right. Yes, we uh, can just set the opening and pass. Okay. And again, just so everyone knows, uh, use your openings in draw phase. That's my fault. <laughs> I, could, I really forget how big Rhino Heart's defense is. That's really big for defense for level four. Yeah, it's really good. Dark Beckoning Beast. This is actually like the way to play around like Winda, right? Yeah. Is there anything just we can do with opening? Yeah. No, no right. no. Just so everyone knows, this is like a sprite combo to get to two level twos without special summoning until uh, you've already placed two level twos on the board because this uh, this is a normal and it lets you do an extra normal. Okay. Any thoughts on using opening before the cavalry attacks, or...? No, it's not. Okay. They cannot win that fight. Well, cavalry's gonna bounce Winda, and they can make Zeus. Yeah, at the end of the battle fight, we can... We can use it to get it to all over. Okay, but negating cavalry doesn't really do anything. So should we maybe opening instead, or...? Is it just bringing it back, like... Yeah, you, you use... You, you use... We use opening now, in case they just are make Zeus. And use the Fed on, on someone. Okay. So, opening... Yeah. Uh, what would be good to put in play? Uh, we can... Go straight for a Luber, or we can go for Tragedy. I will make go for all over. All right, special summon defense. Yep. Search the branded fusion. Yeah, at least it'll be in play now. Now they might not Zeus because they might not want to set off Rhino Heart, but we don't have a target for that. But uh, they might not. They might play around that. They don't have. I'll probably just play the their supply curse now. Yeah. That means I don't really have Splite Splite cards, but I guess this will get to them to it, because Gigantic doesn't have to special the swap, it'll just special the blue, and then the blue will search the jet, and then the jet will search the starter. Any thoughts on any, like, Link monsters that would be good in here? Not that we should play in them. I know with a Branded Fusion is constantly going to make it, like, not 
an option. I consider playing real door, but doesn't come up that often because we're still restricting to fusions. All right, I set a decently high timer, so we don't like ever time out to having like complicated plays, but it does mean that sometimes we'll be waiting longer than anticipated. Oh, I forget. Was the Super Poly in the main or the side? In the main. Okay. Because I think that works really well if they play like Dupe Frog, right? Yeah. Ah. Okay. So they do play the Dupe. Obviously this board state should have never happened because I shouldn't have screwed up so bad. Any thoughts on what we should do here? Yeah, it's kind of rough. We just have to pass on this one. Just pass here? Go for it. Yeah, we can't do anything. Okay, I'm um, just wondering if they can build up much more advantage here that they couldn't have already built up. I guess we could draw like a Dark Ruler or a uh, Super Poly for next turn. It's also kind of cool, this uh, opening of the Spirit Gates just lets you turn any monster into a level 2. Any card into a level 2. Discard a card, special summon a 0 attack and defense fiend. This deck does have a little bit of problems clearing cards on board. I guess, but our monsters have 0 attack, uh, zero defense. Will they have game? No, I doubt mean, it. They are locked into twos now. They kind of have a limit on exactly what they can do. More giant sprites. I don't know if they use their elf yet. They haven't. Okay. They won't. They don't have space. Yeah. They're probably gonna set it. Smashers. Yeah. So are they going to attack with Jet and then use the Smashers to clear another body? Because I think they can get him for game that way, right? Or they can Smashers first and then use Elf to bring something back. I think we can concede this one, right? Or you want to see if they screw this up? I mean, I feel like it's hard to screw up at this point. Oh, they're going battle. Yeah. Did it. Well, I guess they did screw up just getting game. They should have been able to. The Smasher's main phase only. Smasher's is broken. It's not main phase only. Yeah, they could have definitely. They just, they just grew up. Yeah. Still pretty hard to win now. We need to top the dart roller. Or Super Poly might be useful. I don't know how far that would go, but... Oh, that probably doesn't do it. It's not bad, actually. We can activate it. Alright. We gotta contend with Smashers at all points. Um, and Toad. But they know we have Branded Fusion. Like, I feel like that's gonna be the throw-off for everything. Like, they don't know we bricked another Albaz. I mean, we could still use it, but... Okay, hey, so... Oh, okay. They negated. Oh, they took our field spell. How oh, nice of them. Alright. Okay, so, let me see what we have in Grave. One second. Yeah, no problem. Um, we got the opening, we got one of the Albaz, a couple of... Uh, we have the ad lib, a couple of tier elements. We have two openings. Uh, okay, so... We're gonna activate Brander Fusion. We can summon anything, or otherwise they're gonna use Elf to summon back Toad. Alright, Rebellion. Um, well, we send a Dark from deck, and I think we have to use Albaz from hand, right? Yeah, we're gonna send... 
na si na Shaden on our Albus. All right. Chain links. And um, we're gonna we're gonna make Luvelion chain link two. I feel like making Mirror Jade here would actually accomplish a lot, just because, like, they out it, we kill everything. Yep. Alright, uh, what do you want to summon with, uh, Lebellion Mirror Jade? Yeah, and we're gonna put back... Let me see what, we what fusion we have, we have in Grave. Uh, Kit Kalos, I believe, is what we have in there. Okay, so we're gonna put Kid Kalos in Grave. For Mirror Jade using Kid Kalos and Albaz. Yep. And for Merly, we're gonna make. Hmm. Need to think of. We're gonna trigger Toad. We're gonna make Kale Kaleido Heart. But we're not gonna use the effect. Kaleido Heart, no effect. Okay. Yeah. Alright, Rhino Heart. I guess I'll just put back some of these. Well, if we use the effect... Like, I'm just trying it to think would. of like the weakness of it. Like, if we use the effect... If he toads it, we can protect with opening. If he doesn't, then we just yeah. like, maybe spin smashers or something. Yeah, actually, we're gonna use the effect, but we cannot target. We're gonna target the. I would imagine smashers at least to force it to make the play. Yeah. The only problem with that is that means he might go for the merge aid right away, but uh. It's fine if they punish the merge aid. Just mean we just. We can just clear his spore. Do we care about that? I mean, we can't stop Toad from negating it, but is he gonna... Can he set Kaleido Heart? Would he set Kaleido Heart? Do we care if he sets Kaleido Heart? Uh, we do. So we have to... We're gonna protect it. Okay, just double-checking it before we commit to that. Um, there's another option, though, right? Because uh, we haven't used... Uh, a luber yet, so if we let it go, we can get a luber, right? What's that? You got caught? Hmm? Oh. Um, well, a luber's in grave. If we let it go, we can get a luber, or maybe we can do that later, off of Mirror Jade. No, because if we, if we set it, if he sets it, we, we're not gonna get the, the effect to send out Tierna, man. Okay. If sure. he fuss, fuss, we do. Okay. Okay, they're adding a swap frog. I guess they have two swap frogs in hand now, or at least one. Or they added the toad. And... Okay. So we're gonna go to battle phase. We're gonna use Mirror J in the battle phase. Uh, before he uses um Zeus or before. Oh, we're gonna use it now. Use it now. Okay. And uh, I guess Albion. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Oh my God, choice. He's gonna use it. I would have not <laughs> expected that. Okay. Oh. Wow. Well, well we have to banish it. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna use Kale Kaleido. Um, I guess Mirror Jelly because we can. Oh, that'll. We're gonna use Mirror Jelly as Jelly too. I don't think it matters. I think both of his cards in hand are Swap Frog and uh, Ronin Toten. Yeah. All right. So Kaleido Heart's gonna come out. We're gonna uh, send one we haven't used. Um, uh, we used Skirin before. We're gonna send the Hafnis. Can I use it? And we can make. Oh, we haven't gone through Metanoise yet, right? We have not. We can Kit Kalos to get it. Okay, so we're gonna summon Kit Kalos and search Metanoise.
Oh, wow. That's how you turn a loss into a win. Woo. Yeah, we, we shouldn't have won that realistically. No, we shouldn't have. I mean, well, we might have if we if I didn't play into the Valor on the first turn. But this, we yeah. could have always got Valored somewhere else that was important. Uh, anyways, we're up against Sprite. Uh, what's your side pattern? Because we're probably going second. Uh, sphere mode. We can take out the meta noise and we can take out one of the Brandon in red. And we can take out Beast. Okay. Solid, uh, you want to think about anything else? Like, I consider putting in red reboot sometimes because people yeah. are on, like. Yeah, yeah, we need to play red reboot for. So I know he's going to be an anti, anti spell. Can take out a, a tragedy. All right, I'm concerned with the pointer of the Red Lotus is like a problem card that you can't really deal with. Like if it, I wish people would just play anti-spell, then you could just like get away with like cosmics. But a pointer says you kind of have to play like reboot at least as a card. Um, yeah, happy, but we'll, happy here. Or you want to do anything else? Yeah, we can't really do anything about Red Lotus, too, so we can just hope he doesn't open it. So we're going to leave it like that. All righty. Like this. Let's see what happens. All right, so he's got full combo. Um, oh, he didn't activate the effect. I guess he had the spell already. Okay, so we're not going to be able to hop this at a time that's really good. I guess we'll be able to do it now. Do you want to use it, or do you think they're on, like, talents, and we're just going to get, you know, punished for it? No, we're going to use it. Okay. Well, we hit Hoffness and we mm -hmm. hit Morelli. Is there a reason to use both? No, we're... Just one? We're not using both. Yeah. Which one? Either is fine. Use Mary. Okay. Mary. I, I, Mary. I guess there's always a chance that they... uh. Uh, and you can put them both the ones in Grave back for Kit Kalos. Yeah. We're gonna use the effect to dump uh, Shaden and make a Dragostapelia. Using the Hoffness? Or the. Uh, I guess we wanna keep the kit, right? Yeah, no, we're making Dragosta Pelia. Oh, so we're using so we're the kit. Using kit. Yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> Alright, so we have to use a fusion. So this is a turn one Dragosta Pelia. Not a window, but it'll do, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, should we use it here, or should we try and stop them from Gigantic? Is if we let that resolve, it's gonna search smashes and out the that was the pelly anyway, so to negate it, yeah. Okay, so well, we a have super they... body for, for the toad, anyways. Okay, so I believe toad is we for toad we super poly into Garuga with their dupe frog if they play it, yeah. But we side game one, we know he played it, he plays it, yeah. Uh, I think that might be a side out card sometimes, but I guess they are going first. It is really difficult yeah. to deal with the dupe frog when it can uh, block attacks. Yeah. There's the extra normal. I guess he isn't playing that big of an engine since he didn't search either time on, time on normal summon or he opened a ton of the uh, opening of the spirit gates. All right, so odds are they're going to do swap frog. There's Ronin. Um, I feel like keeping this jet here doesn't do anything. They might have wanted to link that off instead. Uh, he's, he's probably going to bounce it back with, with Swap Frog. Oh, that's a cool idea. If he knows that play, he probably doesn't. Um, well, I mean, it would justify leaving it on the field otherwise. Just kind of like random. Uh, I think it's better than Han. Yeah. All right. Well, he didn't do it. Yeah, he doesn't bounce it. Oh. You might actually get to make the um, 
that random, yeah, this one, the Gin Buster. I've not actually played against someone who's been using this yet. A set card. Be anything. I missed draw phase. Should we do this? There's no point, I guess, in standby phase here, right? No, there's there's nothing to summon yet. Okay. So they also have no hand yes. trap that would stop anything in main phase. So toad to search. I mean to summon. We actually want that to happen. So we let yep. that go. Anti spell. Oh. Um. um that's interesting. Okay. I need to think on this one. I mean, if we activate enough quick plays, there's a chance that he bites on the toad, right? If we opening, but opening can only summon a monster that can't really search a spell that does anything. I mean, we can chain Drago's Depelia to toad, then... Oh, we can't, because elf. No, uh, that, that, we can. Yeah, I need to think this one. Yeah, yeah, take your time. I'll let them know that we're not just, like, stalling. This is hard. We're gonna... I don't think we can force the, the Toad yet. Not without these spells, either. Um, so... What can we, we don't have to use the spells yet? anyway. We can make Garuda with you. Wait, no, we can't. Keen Dark. Thunder Dark. We can't make Garuda with their cards. We can Super Poly our cards into something. Another Draco's make, Depelia. I doesn't don't... Um, yeah, that's not very good. It is so... Good. Is there anything we can get out of Branded Opening at this point? I guess we could protect Draco Stepelia by just getting it in Grave. Like, he might negate Branded Opening, right? I mean, that's not the correct play to do, but he might. But well, we can activate really Branded Opening, pitch Branded Fusion, since we can't activate it. If he tries to negate, we have uh, Call By. Then if he chains Elf... Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I don't think there is a Yeah, we're gonna do that. Yeah. Uh, should we bother using called by on something? No, he's gonna, he's just gonna negate it. So... Okay. I guess just get rid of the... the branded fusion. We can special tragedy, I guess. Special it. I guess that's the end of the standby phase. I imagine we still normal Jester and try and search something playable, like a branded in red or something? Not really, because he's just going to negate that. We don't have much. We can... Will he? But it, this being in our graveyard could be good for us, because, you know, then we uh, can bring it back. He has... Dragos I think she has too many negates right now. He might, but we he, he screwed up last game. We can, he can do it again. Yeah, I don't think he's... We only really do see if he... If he sues us, but I don't think he, he, he's going to do it because he has too many cards on board. That would turn on our spells, too. Um, so, I don't know. I think the oh. Luger try and search Branded in red, attack over the dupe, because who cares if he gets a Swap Frog back? Then a Luber can attack the Gin Buster. And the Hoffness can also... Oh, the Hoffness can attack the Gin Buster. Yeah, we can switch, we can switch the Hoffness to attack position. Is there a reason to we... not normal this? I feel like we should. I can't see a negative. Yeah, right. Let's normal it. Like, how does it backfire if we leave it in hand? If we don't summon it, we, we're just going to have to summon it next turn. Still, we're, we can still only attack over so many things with the uh, with the dupe frog on the board. All right. Well, at least that's a negate that's lit up. We can't negate that. We could still activate Draco Stepelia on Elf. And if he tries to Toad, we have opening. Yeah, but that doesn't do anything. We can just bring back Toad again. Yeah. Let's just let's just try to go to the battle phase. All right, just go to the battle phase. Okay. Oh, it doesn't destroy even. Okay, that makes things easier. If we use this elf before the main phase, we do use Travis Tapelia. Oh, use it in. If he tries to use it before end of the main phase. Oh, okay. So okay, we, so we have to attack. Do you're gonna attack. The Yep. You can add back a swap frog. Ronin's still under toad. 
I guess we just leave Gin Buster alone and kill Jet and uh, Elf, or... Or we can leave Jet alone, because it's level 1. Okay, this is still a link to, a rank 2. I don't think it really matters, so we're just gonna attack the Jin for, for the damage. And then we can attack either Elf, or we can attack Jet. We're, we're attacking Elf. And we can Drigus the Pelia on Toad, protect, and then when he tries to summon again next turn, we can negate again. That's gonna give him another that's gonna put the running turin in grave. Oh, he right. went to all the to to all the swap fruits. There's a dupe frog in grave, there's a swap in grave. There's one in hand. Well I'm just trying to yeah, think I guess of, we can use it. I'm just trying to think of we putting can. this card on here actually threatens it, because technically it sends itself to grave as cost, so he can kind of ignore it, but he might not ignore it. He probably will he probably will use it. But do we care if he uses uh, it? Yeah, because he's a negate on board. If you use it, it's off board. Well, he could use the swap in hand instead. Well, yeah, that's that's also fine. It's a carless. Okay, so use it. Yep. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're gonna protect. So this can keep him off other twos, except that opening turns any card in his hand into the into a two, at minimum. All right. So I guess we uh main two. Just set yep. two pass. Yep. All right. So Drake Stepelia making something one doesn't really help when he can just discard a card to get a two. So it means we have to use our negate on something that's actually going to accomplish something. Yeah, he's going to make whatever he makes. We're going to negate it. Yeah, but the, I'm just making the point that there's no purpose in making something level 1 at least. You know, for the audience who might be confused, Draco Stapelli is really good in this matchup for just making things level 1. But, uh, alright, so there's no use for that. It's actually kind of weird. Oh, there's actually a really good play here. I guess if they bounce back their jet... Oh. That yeah. might that might be worth negating. Um, no, because he just made gigantic. We have to let it go. Uh, honestly, letting him get gigantic might not matter because if he gets the gigantic, um, he'll summon what he he'll, he'll at least get locked into twos, you know, and then he won't be able to make Zeus. Whereas if we let this go, we might get Zeus, and that's way worse than anything, I think. She has too many too many level twos already, so does it really matter if we negate this one? I do think this one matters. I'm gonna make a big big deal about this one, but only because it's like I think this is the end of the game if we don't negate this. Because if we don't negate this, he just gets red, summons red, overlays for gigantic. We only have one response at any point, and if he doesn't get locked into twos, then he can just Zeus our board. So, at the very least, forcing him to go gigantic might give us a little more time in this game. All right, but I mean, I won't do it if you if you if you can think of the place that's better to use it on. It's depend. It's depend. It's really depend on what he's gonna do. I know, and that's the problem. That's why we got to make this decision now. Your call. Uh, we can negate jet, or we can. I mean, blue, or we can wait to see if something else matters. Negate it. We're gonna negate it. All right. Let's cut off his engine. Anyway. Because I mean, his last card, because of opening of the spirit gates, he's guaranteed to get to a two. Um, and even if he goes for Zeus, we have tragedy on board. Yeah, tragedy so. would go off. Um, Hoffness would also go off. Okay, that was uh, yeah. that was the thing that I thought would be the good play. He didn't do it earlier, but he did it now. Yeah. But uh, again, if he gets starter, oh, he got smashers. Okay, did not know if he would do that or not. Oh, the smashers is dead because of anti spell. That's important. All right. So he's he not... might go for the big gigantic. <clears throat> well, that's fine. What matters is that we can potentially super poly next turn, right? Or maybe like actually called by yep. the. Uh, all right, big gigantic. Uh, but we have a lot of life points, so that's not really an issue. Do you have another swap or do to use this Ronin again? No, it looks like the Ronin's kind of stuck now. Okay. All right, more twos. But he is locked into twos now. Do any of our cards in here out anti-spell at all? Nope. Not right now, at least. I guess we flukishly got to... Uh, Lido Heart or Chimera are like the only cards that actually out back row in here.
Yeah, I thought the Gin Buster actually destroyed a card it negated. Good to know for future reference. If they don't make another elf, they don't get like a double protect, so they they made elf already. They're gonna make another one. Oh, dark. But they can only summon two, so dark doesn't do anything for them right now. I guess they could bring back Ronin again. Wait, if, he, if he summons back our Hafni, that's actually good for us. He can't, because of gigantic. Um Oh yeah, right. seven three. So Smashers okay, so is set. Um It's not gonna do anything. If he brings back the Ronin, then we have something to super poly. Um Currently, we can super poly the Gigantic off the board with the Tragedy or the Alibur. Okay, that could threaten something. Because we can still... Oh, Called By, he can negate Called By with this. We could attack this first. Oh, we can't super poly if we summon this. If we summon this, we can Called By, but he'll negate Called By. We could just attack this first, then summon this, and then Called By. Currently, that's legal to activate. We just have to super poly now, but what do we super poly off though? Because uh, we can't make Aruga. We can we can make make a masquerade, masquerade. but but are any of these cards worth using off even? Like Let's if Morelli gets again. negated and he sets it, then he's gonna wanna get rid of the gigantic. Okay. Wait, um, but don't, no, don't use it yet. But we can. Because right, so, if we pass next turn, he's gonna summon back Dragostapelia. Then maybe there we can super poly to make our own Dragostapelia. Okay, but so what, what do you want to do? I also, I also want to get rid of the tragedy now, so we can get back to the planet engine. Okay. So, do we have Branded Fusion in grave? Branded Fusion, I believe it is. We pitched it off of uh, the opening on the beginning. So it's there. Okay, we're, we're gonna kill the car right now. We're gonna do what? Let's kill the carrot. Attack the carrot with that over. Okay. All right. Super poly. Yep. I would imagine. What is this being made? All right. This would be our two on for on oh. field cards. So yeah, we have to make masquerade. Dark and tragedy or gigantic and tragedy? We have I think well we have to get rid of gigantic so Okay. We're gonna use the fit to search all over. Nothing if you want to attack the. Well, if we attack either, we can't call by. Well, they scooped, so that kind of ruins the <laughs> the thought process. Oh. So um, that was a hard game. Yeah, I don't know why they scoop. Yeah, I don't know. I think we were like pretty much ready to scoop. So, um, so I don't think we could have done too much here because if we attack either, then we can't call by in the damage step. After this, we can normal jester and search something, but searching something doesn't really do anything because we can't activate any card we get. They have smasher set. Uh, I guess the call by hits whatever card they search off of. I would imagine they search like um, off of if they, if we attack dark, they get a dark, so they get jet or. Uh, oh, yeah, we will have to attack the toad and use call by as an interruption, like running toad. Well, the Ronin Tone, I think, ran out of frogs. Oh, it didn't run out of frogs. I, I guess we would have had to do that. I guess the game would have continued. We we don't really know what would have happened. Okay, let's see if we can get a better match. That match wasn't bad. Uh, I mean, it was bad in the sense that I screwed up the first turn of the first game. And then our opponent kind of like threw afterwards. So, you know, whoever throws less um, is the one who wins generally, right? All right, so we're losing the dice roll. Okay. This is an interesting hand. A um, lot of powerful stuff here. They are going first. Hopefully they're playing. Okay, good. So we're getting Sprite nice. Magic again. So hopefully they'll they'll have a better start. I feel like we actually have a hand that does something in the matchup, which is nice. Yeah, this much I like this matchup to be honest. Oh. Uh who do you think it's in favor of? I honestly think the Sprite deck has the better matchup. 
It's kind of kind of depends on the dice rule because they have a lot of lo- of loggers to side on game three. Yeah, I think they, they can't really do bit, much about it. I think their deck being so consistent makes it easier for them to play a bunch of bigger blowouts than other decks can play. And they get to play hand traps. They get to play talents to punish you for punishing them. Yeah, because the word thing is usually not that much of a problem to break. It's the the staples deciding. Wow, they're taking a long time to think about what spell to search off of their card that searches one of two spells. I mean, I get if they need time to think out their whole turn, but uh, this particular choice should not be that complicated. I, I set a 300 second timer just so that, you know, if someone has a long turn, they don't just lose because they have a long turn, but I don't really plan on setting through like an excessively going nowhere kind of turn. Uh, you know, they might have just left. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That or they got annoyed at my comments. They <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> I, I try not to be too much of a jerk. I, I do have a com. Uh, every time I play a game against anyone, I always say good luck, have fun, and then I say but not too much. I don't know, I like to troll a little. In ways that make sense. Oh, I have a 500 second timer. I set like a big timer. The default timer on here is 180 seconds, so three minutes. Um, they used to have it set where every time you made a play, it would increase the timer again a little bit. Yeah, that's how I remember it. Yeah, oh, that was um, the previous YGO Pro, YGO Pro Percy. This is a YGO Pro Edo Pro, Project Ignis. It's a little bit different. I think one of the other servers might have that feature. Like, it has, like, a an EU server casual, an EU server competitive, a US server casual, a US server competitive. And uh, one of them might have it, but people aren't going to, like, um, come to the other servers that are going to be appropriate. Like, if I go to casual and it has that feature, that's not really going to find an opponent that's correct. Alright. Well, I lost the dice roll again, so we're never going to get to go... Oh, we went first in the first game. Okay, there's a lot of uh, playable cards. Only one semi-brick. Ah, the mirror! The mirror. And we both opened a Rhino Heart. Alright, so let's see what the tier element deck can do on their side. So they're going to Skirin, probably Fusion Kick Kalos. Will they search a monster? Like, my deck is built just to, like, mill cards with the tier elements, so I'm not used to searching the traps. Alright, so what is that, Salak? Is that their turn? Big turn. Uh, draw phase. Oh my oh, god. Ah, ah, chain! Oh my god. Oh, we drew that again? It, it wouldn't let me do the draw phase thing, I don't know. Either maybe I misclicked or wasn't on the program. Either way. All right, That's kind of lucky. We drew the guy again. Yeah. Um, I thought Mistake. we were so lucky to just draw one now. Oh, amazing. <laughs> uh, thoughts on the line? Uh, okay, we can just open into a bit of the Salic. Okay. Uh, what do you want to pitch? We can do tragedy, or we can do we can put the Albas back, maybe with a fusion. <laughs> we're gonna pitch the the tragedy. I'm going to feel really annoyed if I have another Valor and I misclick on doing this in draw phase. I was trying. It wouldn't. It wasn't letting me. All right. Uh, Aluber to search. Special summoning. Um, we make Tragedy Chain E2. All right, so if they sell like this, we don't get the search, but do we don't really care if we get this search because we have branded fusion already. It looks like we're trying to chain block this. Um, if they do negate it, they also foolish five and they could hit all kinds of random things. All buy on tragedy. Are they going to also use? OK. That's fine. Yeah, it makes sense. I was just trying to think of what they would do that would make sense. They don't know we're playing Tier Lemon yet, so it, yeah. it's kind of the correct play. Well, they get to middle five. What can happen? Well, they hit a bunch of names. Oh, God. They're on the OCG stuff. I don't think I want to play this match. This is what's going to be happening in the future. These are the Ishizu cards. When this card's sent to the grave, both players mill five. When this card's sent to the grave, both players mill five. Um, and then there's like another one that like shuffles five back into the deck, which is the annoying one. It's kind of toxic. It's it's completely insane. It, it leads to games where there's like chain link ten on both players' fields, 
all over the place. It's completely luck based. Oh, well, not completely, but massively luck based. Oh, Especially if you hit the one that shuffles back and they don't. Uh, they hit the one oh, that shuffles back. So no matter what we activate, they can just shuffle things back, which is annoying. So like Let's we hit what we off hit. this and Skirin. We hit two of them. Yeah, so they have an edge because they're playing a card we don't play. Is there a reason it didn't give me the option to use this yet? This is also the new tier element. It's just a... When your opponent activates a card or effect that special summons a monster, you can negate the activation. If you do, destroy the card. Then send a tier element from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. If this fusion summon card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon this card. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to scoop on this match and just, like, find a new match. You alright with that? Just because, uh... I... Yeah. I'm still wait waiting for it to give me the opportunity to use the, uh... Offness and it just didn't, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, right. this much is gonna take a while. Yeah, oh, now it's letting me activate them. Um, if you want to try and play versus the OCG matchup, we can do it. No, I said this middle one is gonna take too long. I think. All right, yeah, I don't want to. All right, we're gonna go first. Okay, uh, how do you want to proceed? Uh, we're gonna start with Chayden. Uh, activate Chaylearn. What do you want to send? Miru or uh, Albaz? Miru. We're going to send Miru. Alright, so we're definitively getting a fusion out of this. Um, let me just check our grave real fast. We hit uh, Jester hit and Alubar. Fusion. Alright, so um, activate Miru. We're good. Yep. Um, kit or something else? We're, we're going to make Kit and we're going to search. I know how I think. Wait. Let me think of it. Yeah, no problem. Because we can use Venom Ray just to add back all over, but it'll be kind of bad if they have an interruption. So we're just going to say, we're going to say Rhino Heart. All right. Do we care we or should we wait? No, it's fine. All right, so they hit a Hoffness. Still add Renard? Search. Yeah. All right, so double Hoffness into a kit. So they're going to have their own kit. Let's see what they search. So their own Rhino Heart. They're mirroring. All right. Because we can mill, like, Tragedy and then it can set Branded Fusion, which would be cool. Um, so you kind of want to make Mirror J, so, so we can out his kit. His kit. Okay, well, um, Rhino Heart can mill one on purpose and fuse with the Albaz, but then we wouldn't have an Albaz around. We're just gonna, we're gonna use the effect of kit just to, to spell us some more Rhino. All right. We're gonna, make, we're gonna make it as Chain Link 2 again. And what do you want to foolish off of Rhino? Or I guess we'll determine after we mill. Yep. Um. Well, we mill. We use Morelli already. One of them got I milled. Do. I think we milled a Hoffness, so we can send Skirin. Yeah. Yeah, we're scaring. So. Oh, we hit Metanoise also. Oh, we mill a Metanoise. Um, we mill the Morelli, but, but uh, I feel like if we use the Metanoise, we're just going to be adding back a card oh. that's going to get shuffled. No, so. Activating we're just going to use the. Accomplish anything is all I'm saying. The monsters. Just the monsters. So, yeah. All right. I mean, we could just chain block one just to add it back to hand. Oh no, we add it back to hand, it doesn't oh, fuse. It, it's, gonna, it's not gonna fuse, yeah. So we're gonna make a Dragos Tapelli. Uh, yeah, and and we're gonna make a Luvelian, because I think we mill a... We did mill Alves. We mill Alves. So we're gonna make a Luvelian. Uh, 
And we're gonna pitch the albas we have in hand to make a to make a mirror J. We can we can put back the do we put back the kit? Oh uh, yeah, I put it back to the Dragus Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna put back the Willow Bellion. I think we still have all over in grave, right? We do, and we have a normal summoned. Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna set the the branded in threat. Set it. Yep. Do we banish this first? We do, but in end phase. Okay. Uh, Al Albion, I guess. Yep. And uh, at first we can we can search a branded fusion. No. We no we are we are it. Yeah, yeah. it's we. I, I don't play uh, Espeon here, so I'm not used to uh, the questions it would ask. Another problem right. with automated simulators. Super polymerization. Okay. Um. He's out in the board. Probably their own Dragos Tepelia. And I guess we... Uh, we trigger our Mirror Jade, yep. Is there any point in some in activating Alibur here? I mean, it'll come to the board. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's going to negate the Dragos Tepelia. And it's going... Uh, yeah. Uh, there might be a problem with that. Do we have any other Despias in the graveyard? We don't, so that would... Like, we don't, kind of... we don't, but that's fine. That turns it's up fine. branded in red. Uh, well, branded red doesn't really do anything. I guess we don't have a monster in we hand for it. Called by. Well, on Mirror Jade. Um, I guess we can't do anything about that. It's fine. Alright. So, they have a Rhino Heart. Well, that doesn't do anything. Um... I guess they figure they're going to be negated, so they might as well do it. Uh, attack, Defense. maybe? Defense? Okay. Yeah. Because it does have zero defense, so like anything runs over it now. They have a Rhino Heart in their graveyard. Oh no, in their hand, they sent Skirin already, so they have like a fusion. We got rid of their kit, so I don't know what they'll fuse into. I guess that maybe they'll make Kaleido Heart. So it looks like they're going to make another kit. Okay, so they're on two kits. I find running two kits not really necessary when you just send the first one back for Dracos Tepelia, but I guess it is a really good card. Yeah, I see most of the pure wheels are playing two. Yeah, I guess there's some benefits. They have a, they have a lot of space in the heads already. Yeah, all right, well that pushed nothing, so that's going to send one. Mill 8. So they used Merly and Skirin already, I think? Or just... Mer I think they just used Skirin. Or Merly. I forgot which one. Either way. Okay. So they must have used Merly. Meta Noise is going to add back a card. What? Yeah, Meta Noise is adding back a Skirin. Did they add back the wrong one, though? Just... Yeah, because I think they added the one they activated. They might not have realized it. It is a YGO Pro thing. You have a minor issue with not knowing which card you're looking at. Um, usually it says, like, it says on the card, like, activated as chain, like, whatever. Oh, no, it's still in the graveyard. Yeah, they did that, uh, okay, they make making Kaleido Heart. Yeah. So they can spin back the, sp the back row. Talents. No. Oh, oh my god. Take control of our monster. 
Uh, that guy can't attack, so maybe they're just gonna overlay for like redoer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, their stuff went crazy. So the last cutting his son is the shaven. Yeah. So we should be fine. Well, I think the worst thing that's the, the possible is that they use the Time Thief too early. Like, we're going to have to Dark Ruler, whatever this is. Oh, they're using it now? Okay, oh, that summons a monster. Oh, it's okay. been used. Oh, they're, they're, already, they're already used Shaden. Yeah, oh, they just God. used it, like, 10 seconds ago. Another Dark Ruler. Well, um, hit a good card for us. They hit a Super Folly. All right, whatever. All right, so we know it's in their hand. We, we obviously get a Dark Ruler, right? To stop this from drawing a card and stop this from negating our cards. Yeah. So I want to see how many Telemus we have in Grave. Um, sure. Uh, we have a Rhino Heart, which one. isn't really a good one for that. And we have Morelli. Okay, that's, that's fine. So we're going to we're gonna activate Brandy Fusion and... Sina, uh, Hafnis. All right, so Hafnis and, um... Uh, Falling of Albus. We can summon it in defense since it can attack anyways, and we know what his hand is. All right, uh, order doesn't matter because we know his hand also. Um, yeah. So Hafnis and... William. I guess we're going to summon Mirror Jade. Yeah. We can put back... Albaz and... And... And Dragostapelio. Alright. And we're going to summon... We have Metanoise in Grave already, right? Meta noise is engraved, I believe. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, meta noise is in our graveyard. So we can just summon Kit. Um, I guess we cannot. We cannot have this. It's an interruption. All right. Um, make sure not to shuffle the Rhino Heart because we're gonna we're gonna use it. Got it. Uh, oh, we're... I forgot the Mirror Jade got called by. Yeah, we can use Mirror Jade this turn. Yeah, I know we could activate it, but... Which, which is fine, we, we can just... We're just gonna clear the board. Okay. Um, what are we grabbing? Hoffness? Yep. Alright. And, and... Wait, let me... Let me see. Yeah, we're gonna use Kit now. To summon back the Rhino Heart. On itself, or... I guess we want to mill more? Itself, yep. Uh, chain link. Uh, chain link two. Get two. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. I guess. Let me just double check. Uh, what did we activate before for the fusion? Use happiness, I think. Okay, just to confirm, just so we send something that does something. But we hit a shear in either way. Um, so send we Riley. Hit. We hit yep. beast also. Oh, we win, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... And send one that we have... At least the one we haven't used, right? I... Well, I think we might have milled them all, because... The only... Oh, this is the graveyard. Yeah, we can just send the Merli. Alright, uh... You're sure we used Hoffness earlier? Let me go yeah. back to... A little bit. I mean, that's what I told you to send. I don't know if you sent a different one. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. Hey, so. so we use them both to make uh and well, the beast. And beast. Uh, that doesn't matter, so we can make another Dragostapelia and wait. No, we don't make Dragostapelia, we make Kaleidohar. Kaleidohar okay. and Winda. So Kaleidohart. And Winda. 
All right, shuffling back. Oh, we got to use the Rhino Heart. Yep. Yes, the kit and not the Shaylin. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, just the, the kit, I guess. Yep. Window. And we get to we shuffle something back. We get to spin back Escalator Heart. That's the one that floats. We don't really want to deal with that. Um, we drew this. I guess we can, can activate the field spell. Okay. Because we can use an interruption. Keep in mind we Dark Rulers, so we can't kill them. Yeah, I know. Uh, what do you want to grab? Uh, the Rhino Heart, I guess. Just make sure we can do that specifically again. All right, yeah. I guess we just attack um, with everything. Yep. Um, uh, do you want to use the Mirror Jade to set something up in Grave, or it'll be live next turn? No, we're just going to use it this turn. Because we know he has, he has Jade in hand, so there's not really anything good here. He can top deck. All right, let's see what they do. Um, that's well, that's their one that's special fine. summon, so who cares? Yeah, that's fine. And they milled Beast, which doesn't do anything. I mean, they get to draw a card, they milled an Imperm. Yep. That also doesn't do anything. They can normal summon something and foolish something, but that doesn't accomplish anything. I guess a Hoffness is what they should get, so that they can do something on our turn, but we're just going to attack them for game. Winda is OP when it comes out at the right time, I guess. And so this is Hoffness. It gives them something to do on the next turn, right. but they're not going to be able to do anything. Yeah, it, it, this is game on board, I'm pretty sure. No, we yeah. don't use Mirage. No! Why not? Because they can change. Ah, uh, uh, no, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, they have nothing They're to change. They're on the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that, already that's the only reason I did it. It's already yeah. a game on board, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, uh, we got the mirror match. Uh, that was funny. All right, uh, thoughts on the side deck? Uh, yeah, let's see. I don't play the mirror too often, so... Um, We can play Mystic Mine. I like yes. it. I love Mystic Mine. Yeah. Got the 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 piece and the and a brand, and a meta noise. Meta noise and what? I'm sorry, I missed the last thing. A beast. A beast. Okay. Okay. Um. I kind of want to keep the beast in. I feel like it came out kind of randomly and just won the game. But I guess it could brick us. All right. I guess we go with this. All right. Let's see what they do. Then we'll go back to the deck list and see if there's anything that didn't come up. Um, well, we open the out for everything. They have to have like a trap card in order to play through this. Looks like they're on pure tier limit. Yep. Do they really have nothing to play? That's weird. Danger? That's a possibility, I guess. People are playing Nessie oh because god. it's an Aqua. What? Oh my god. Alright. Um, thoughts? Uh, I guess uh, we can activate the field spell. Like now they can't even like rep like super poly. Uh what do you want to grab? I know her. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna normal it and use the effect. Try to better something whatever he has. Normal it? Yep, an effect. Okay. I mean, that was that was an yeah, assumed card, I guess. All right. So we're gonna use Cherry now and send the 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 other Cherry. Yep. I think we milled. Uh, what's his name? We milled. Uh, Ad lib. All right. Uh, what do we want to summon here? It. Yeah. 
We're gonna use the Jaden. That's on feel. Okay. Yeah, there's often a lot of unusual decisions you gotta make with keeping your monsters on field versus using monsters in grave. Alright. Yeah, um, so we're gonna use the field spell as chain too. And eeny meeny miny mo. Uh that one. I mean, there's always a ch okay. I, I figured it would be like something like that. They might have like a meta noise or something down here where hitting it might actually do something for them. I mean, I guess we're done with our turn. We just attack, right? Yeah, we just attack. We're fine. Okay. At least we have an interruption in hand of some sort if they even get a monster. Really wonder what all these set cards are. One of one of the Nispoli. Oh, yeah. A pointer. That explains what's happening here. Oh. So they are doing nothing still. I guess that's their way of showing us that they bricked hard. I guess. I'll take yeah, that there's... back. All right. So I think this is a bit. We've had enough games, so I'm going to. We'll head back to the deck list and discuss anything that we may uh, may have noticed, may or have not, may have or may have not come up. I'm gonna start recording again. Okay, to the deck list. All right. Did you notice anything that didn't come up? Like I noticed we didn't get to ad lib, but uh, so what didn't come up? We didn't get to ad lib. We never summoned masquerade. Anything you can yeah. think of that's worth mentioning that an audience viewing this may want to know about that we didn't do? Yeah, in this particular match, the Bernadette didn't come up that much, but. It usually does for me, but doesn't come out as often is the is Winda. Like the Beast Draw com, comes often more often than Winda itself, so consider playing something like I consider trying snow, because it, it makes it easier to go for a game with snow. Is it easy um, to get a lot of cards in grave in this build? Yeah, because you know, you're milling a lot of cards usually. Okay. Usually you're issuing Merlin instead of Rhino Heart to mill eight cards. Yeah, I noticed we kept having we kept searching Rhino Heart and then summoning Rhino Heart off of off of the kit. Yeah, I, I was searching Rhino Heart usually because that's the that's the safer play. But usually what I do is that I use the I you get to the usual branded board yeah. like sending tragedy and fallen of Alvas. and after that I, I can use the Tillman engine to get to kit and try to mill cars. All right, I don't think there was too much else to talk about. Most things came up. Thoughts on this super poly target? I've honestly found this card really strong. Just like in videos I've seen it being played in, just it does like double damage. It'd be cool to be able to make it bigger, but it can do 4k, it right? gets bigger with the field spells, but it, its effect is really good. The drug, the drug is very good. It's better than Venom. Okay. Yeah, and I guess everybody's not on darts really, for sure. It hits most of the, the meta, of the meta, it hits map mech and the frogs. I hear it gives you like a good defense against, what do you call it, against Sprite when they're going. If you go first and just set Super Poly, and then when they go into the battle phase, it gives you a way to like Super Poly off Toad and do Prog during the battle phase, so they can't just bring it back with the uh, Elf at that time while also avoiding getting talents and potentially getting a draw during their battle phase. Like I've seen it used pretty well. Um, well, they usually, they get rid of the Duke from their turn when they're trying to go for games, so I usually try to get to try to play on my... Fair enough. Like I'm, all right. Anything else you think of? Otherwise, we'll wrap this up here. No, I think it was fine. Okay. We had one. We had one good game. Yeah, we had one good game. One. One good game. One, I'd say, with the tier limit matchup. I'll be cutting yeah. a lot of the dead time and the games that didn't get used. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap this up. So everyone, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, check out Dragon Rider games for Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. They're pretty fun. Uh, I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks again, Mithril, for coming on. All right.